This will be attaching the shock cord. Um, you have to attach the back end first and what we're going to do is to lay the shock cord into the, the joint between the fin and the body tube and then we're going to drill a hole past the shock cord inside and out the front. Um, the reason I do it this way is because once it's glued in right here, it is incredibly strong. It is very hard to pull that through. Uh, there's so much area there uh, that it's almost impossible to pull it through this way. You, you have to bend it back in order to tear it off, which is not going to happen. Um, but to, before we can do that, the end of the uh, shock cord is fraying a little bit. So I want to take a little bit of super glue. I'm going to use thin super glue and I'm just going to touch a drop on that end. Actually do both ends. All right. Just wipe off any excess. And now I want to cut off that frayed end. I want it nice and straight. So just take your hobby knife and cut cut the ends off so that you get nice and straight. Okay, just like that. Now we need to drill a hole into the uh, body tube right in front of one of the fins. Now there's a centering ring in there and you can't drill it behind the centering ring. You have to be in front of it. Um, so I'm going to be drilling approximately one half inch in front of the fin there, right there. And I'm just going to use my hobby knife and just spin it around. Don't push too hard, just let the, let the knife do the work. And you want the hole just big enough for the shock cord to go through. And I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of CA glue just to stiffen up those fibers. Wipe that off. All right. Take the end of the shock cord. I'm going to pass it through that hole. And I'm going to just push it in. And at the same time, let gravity pull it down to the bottom or out to the front. There it is. Okay, so now it's in the front. And we want to pull it all the way through. And we want to just lay it into that corner there. And then we want to tack it down with super glue. So we get it nice and straight. was in there good too. <laughs> yeah, I have these same problems. Okay, so take your hobby knife and the glue doesn't stick to metal as good as it sticks to fingers. So press it down in there. Pull this through. There we go. All right, I'm going to put another bead of glue on top, just as another little fillet. And this time I'm going to hit the kicker on it. Just like that. And wipe off any excess. If you feel any rough spots, and sand them down. I feel one little rough spot right there. All right, 
very nice. Okay.